So, hey, what's up, guys? We're going to talk about Kofor Startup. And Kofor Startup has Uber Eats. The app is 30 hours. So basically, he's going to teach you how to create Uber Eats from the ground up. It's going to have Python Django. So there's a REST API, Bootstrap, which is the responsive design. Swift 3 and Xcode is basically creating an Android app. And Heroku is like pushing it onto the cloud. So, so that's Hey, guys. This is Leo Chiu from KoforStartup.com. And today, I'm so excited to show you guys um, a quick intro demo for Tasker, the comprehensive system that we're going to be in our project. Now, as you can see, here we got the web application uh, for restaurant. And on the left-hand side, we got app for customer. Right-hand side, we got app for driver. So at the moment, I'm just logging as a driver. And here, you can log in as driver by click here. Now, I'll just log in with Facebook. All right, so we just log in as a customer. So for example, here I got uh, Jessica as a customer and you can see the on the side menu, we got a bit different from what we get here. All right, now if you click on the restaurant, it's going to display all the restaurant that we have. We can search for the restaurant that we like. Just like that. And you can make an order. Click here and it's going to load the images and you can increase the quantity. Click add to tray. Now, as you can see, we got the animations uh, just like that. If you click on the tray, we just display on the order that you just uh, made. And also you can type in your address. So for example, and hit enter. So it's going to show you the where you are and you can click check out. Here we're going to use Stripe as a payment. So you just type in your Visa card, for example, and then you click on place order. All right. Now, as you can see, as uh, immediately, it's going to show you uh, where the restaurant and where you are. If you go into the orders, and here we see the order which it creates, which is Jessica. So right now at the moment, we don't have any driver. And once the ready is cooking, right now you can see the state that it's cooking. Here it's cooking as well. And if you hit ready, it's come to ready. And now it's going to send a request to the driver side. If I click on my menu, click orders, and I can see the new order, which is Jessica. I'll just pick this one. All right. And here we can see that we got the order from Jessica. And if you can scroll a little bit. And here we go. So here is where I'm going. Now on the other side, um, let me just pull this over. All right, you don't see any um, driver location, but if you go back to the menu and hit auto again, first the state of change on the way. And now if you zoom out a little bit, here we go. So now you can see that we got the driver. So basically, he makes Uber Eats, and that's pretty cool. What else? He also teaches you how to create your own Tinder. So how much can Tinder make? Basically, um, in China, there's a thing called Tantan. It's the Chinese Tinder, and it raised 70 million. But you have to get the million users, and you have to get the venture capitalists to give you that money. But first, create the app, get the user base. And then when you get the user base, you can look for venture capitalists. And then it, it got even more bigger. It hit 600 million. So that's the power of projects and startups. So if you're like in a, you know, a country that is not America, your own country, you could potentially be a millionaire because once you get venture capitalists in, you can create your own like dating app like Tinder, the American one, to you know localize, and then after you can raise money for your country. So consider um, signing up with my my um, link down below for code for startup. 
so you can learn how to make like real startups they also have fiverr product hunt airbnb and probably more projects coming and leo true is a pretty good teacher and if you want to learn like more details into like coding i had recommend like uh team treehouse it's an awesome place to learn how to code also and this will be probably more detailed to explain all the little tidbits but he kind of connects the entire he does a whole project so if you really don't know what's going on i recommend you go to treehouse and learn like whatever stack is using like python django or rails and he also goes over firebase and heroku but treehouse doesn't really do that stuff they teach you core code and um you can just learn you know no js and jQuery or heroku are like very basic you learn these stuff so basically you tie these two in basically you got the whole Cody boot camp real really cheap so either you spend like 10 g's or you spend like a few hundred bucks and you have a full app going already and a slight startup and you could like probably hire some security guys and other devs on like upwork to fix certain small things but if you tie these two together then you got yourself your own product and all you need is to market it get customers and you're good to go and have your own little tech startup and um consider joining code for startup because i spent my own money i actually bought the uber eats i think this is for 100 and i actually learned how everything ties together a little more but the team treehouse python track is really really good as is because um kenneth loves the teacher and he goes over almost every line of code to the next level that it's like undescribable he's a, a good teacher and a very good dev <laughs> anyways and thanks for watching guys so please consider um joining code for startup and peace out